Hello everybody, Brad Pointer here with another episode of Fallout Shelter. We are running our max dwellers through these quests and uh, today we have a couple of daily quests because I caught one from the day before and then I popped another one right as it popped up. So we're doing very good as far as quests are concerned and we've got one of our uh, quest lines that we're going to be running into. So, without any further ado, let's uh, do it. Doop doop do do. Oh, we're loading. We're loading screen. We're loading. It's a loading thing. Yes, indeed. Whatever something. Here it comes. Okay. So, junk run. Recover the main stash of junk. Now, I believe that this is a level 50 quest, so we should be running into some adequately nasty boogers. Uh, we like those. Uh, everybody's all parroted up. And we are ready to destroy. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about legendary. What, oh, the usual. The difference between narwhals and unicorns. Well, one of them is an aquatic sea mammal. And the other is not. Okay, we have Death Claws, which is a good sign, of course. You know, I like like fighting the Death Claws. Uh, they're becoming uh, more and more prevalent as we go into these higher level missions. Um, the missions get harder, the thing stakes get higher, and, but so do the monsters. Shoot them again, one last time. That'll do it. Okay, good job, everybody way to kill everything well your body rots and someone takes your stuff oh what happens after you die yeah your body rots and somebody takes your stuff well in the fallout world I would say that you aren't wrong so we're going down as is the general consensus of how we do these things um, I really like the um, the sword after all uh, I didn't think I was going to but I do because it is very uh, handy it's very damaging it pokes them really well um, they don't the critters don't like it see that was like whack dead one dead mole rat the end what is that smell well it's probably uh, mole rat poo because you just knocked the poo out of them and we got a blue weapon, so that's happy. Oh, some more death claws. And since you walked in there first, I'm guessing you're gonna get a face full of death claw, Mr. Benjamin. Ooh. And almost a very painful face full at that. Luckily there's only two, so one person gets to hang back and kind of say, yeah. Can't hold me down. Boom. Oh, I misboomed it. Sorry, guys. I can't always do it. Hey. Now this one's actually been, they've been pretty rough on our guys this time, haven't they? Smells bad, looks bad, sounds bad, is bad. Well, you know, you don't have to talk about my let's play like that. It's not very nice. Okay. Man, these guys are so tough. These death claws, they <laughs> there's a reason there's a reason they're not called snuggle claws. Boom! Yeah. That's how we do it. Boom! And that's how we do it too. Now everybody dead. Well, all the bad guys is dead. See? A quantum. Wasn't even a Death Claw Alpha. Still got still got me a quantum. Okay. So we're gonna heal everybody up and send them up here on their way. Come on, fellas. And gals. Well, fellas. I call everybody fellas. You know, they're my fellows. Kinda like a fellowship, but not of a ring. Um I don't know. 
I think I may have actually talked about that before. Guys and fellas, you know, how they're not really gender neutral, but I use them that way anyway, because, bitch. Because I'm Brad, and I do what I want. Well, I don't really do what I want. I rarely do what I want. Occasionally, I do something that I want. But in general, wow, all these raiders have gauss rifles. Have goose rifles. They've all got the goose rifles. What are we doing gonna do about that? I mean, we're not even dealing arms to the wasteland yet. Yes. Give us some of that. We're gonna be the United States of the Wasteland when we're done with this. By the time we're through, get them. Join us or perish. Yeah. Get in there and shoot them in the face with that laser gun. That's how we do it. Now we want to see what kind of loot everybody wants that's what it's all about what loot are we getting oh here's some re uh, feral ghouls I don't like feral ghouls I mean they're kind of weak and wimpy but I still do not like them I do not enjoy their presence in this plane of existence okay and I agreed to do this because because you're awesome and you didn't agree to it you got your orders and you're following them I mean it's the vault it's not a vault democracy I do I tell people to do things and they do it oh man that one looked big for some reason it just looked bigger maybe he's just closer up but man he looked big enough to be be painful. Boop! Oh, close, but no boop bar. Boop! No, oh. dead yummy. Okay, you two, get your chance. Oh, yeah, that was a misclick, but that's okay. Hey, see, that's what I'm talking about. And let, see, this is more appropriate. Bethesda must have listened to me when I was grappling in the last episode about the fact that when you're fighting death claws, you should definitely get something good, you know, especially a death claw alpha. If you fight a death death claw alpha, you should get something awesome. Shouldn't be, you know, I mean, an awesome by awesome. I mean, at like legendary something. Or even better, like a lunchbox. Give us a lunchbox. That way, you can put blue stuff in it, and we're still thrilled that we got a lunchbox. I mean, if you're if you're, you know, just dead set on handing out blues, then at least do it through lunchboxes. Does that make sense? Am I am I am I making sense to people here? Am I making sense at all? Do I know what I'm doing? No. Okay. More baddies? On the right, right path. I can feel it. I got a feeling mm -hmm. that the loot's gonna be some good loot. Yeah. Bad guys? No? Hey, freebie. 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 Woohoo. All of the epic loot. Alright, so the top was a lot easier than the basement. We'll have to keep that in mind for next time. Basement. Ba oh, no. Okay, whoops. Wrong order of operations there, people. Give me a break. Not everybody can be perfect like y'all. I know the people who watch this are perfect because they're watching me. Okay. Yeah. I'm not conceited. I'm convinced. Oh, my aching feet. Well, guess what? You can rest them. 
you won't even get to rest them. Man, these guys, they've been going nonstop since I started this series. They, they'll get home and they'll be like, the only time they get a chance to rest is if they have to wait for me to get home so that I can go in there. They'll be like, oh, it's only, it's a four hour walk. And so they take off and they walk for four hours. And then <laughs> that's like two o'clock in the morning. And so they have to wait until I get off work the next day. So they just hang out outside the place set up campfire tell stories you know but then pretty much as soon as they get home i i try to turn them around and say get thee to the wasteland and get me some more stuff all right so how did we do in this one this one was just junk that's all it's really going for but we did get some good stuff an enhanced rail, railway rifle railway rifle and the uh, a weapon and two uh, legendary armor blueprints so that's nice that's very nice all right oh that was the wrong direction oh we're going this way here's all my people hey look at him you got a circuit board how'd you get that circuit board sorry guys I just have to indulge my curiosity found a dark cave in the middle of the woods I've been cornered in the cave by a family of Yagwai. I'll try to pacify them. They're now as docile as lambs, so I can continue exploring the cave. Alright, see? And he found the military circuit board. And that is one of those perks of being um, so high level in all the stuff. See, this is probably the same kind of thing. Uh, reached a caravan merchant chasing down a panicked Brahmin. Running after the Brahmin to help the merchant. That thing is fast. Got a hold of the reins and stopped the Brahmin. The merchant then gave me a reward and got a chemistry flask. Awesome. See, that's what these... When you're out in the wasteland with max dwellers, that's the kind of thing that can happen. Because some of these encounters, you won't be able to do them without one specific stat. That is, that is a good high stat so here we are uh, guardian of the wastes death claws so we're going after this is another daily quest and this one is just straight up called death claws so we know that we're gonna get some claws with some death on them so we're not you know this this mission is not playing around you know this is the reason why I did this this is the reason why um, I started, you know, training everybody because I, I was out here, you know, with level 50 dudes that hadn't been, you know, leveled up previously that weren't at max, maxed uh, specials. And man, sometimes it just got too dang tough. And so now, you know, they didn't have the hit points to deal with the kind of monsters that we have to deal with in these kind of missions. Now look at this. Four death claws. Now luckily, these guys are tougher than my last group, as you can already see. You know, these should be the same power and the same meanness as the ones that we faced before. But these guys started out young with max specials, went out to the wasteland, cut their teeth in the wasteland shooting shooting monsters with big with big weapons oh and you'll also notice that i got some of my good weapons back to send out on my wasteland expedition on my wasteland quests they were on they were being used by people on expedition and now they're not see death claws legendary death claws legendary i mean there should never be a time when you have death claws and don't have a legendary. I, you know, that's just my thoughts. Ooh, this one's a little convoluted in its in its layout. It's gonna be interesting. Anything popping? Nope. Nothing but some quantums. Boy, I gotta like that. That means I'm, there's one of these uh, quests that takes two days to get there. And so, um, I've been reluctant even though it's like going to be really super awesome, I'm really reluctant to send anybody out there. Boom! Oh, dang. Um, because it's going to take two days, and that's like, you know, 
that's a lot of coins if I want to speed it up. So, you know, something's going to have to give. So we're going to have to do that. Eventually, we're going to run out of uh, shorter length quests, and we're going to have to do some big ones. Some long ones. Which we're, we're real reluctant. What a dump. See, these guys have been through two death claws attack, two, two sets of death claw attacks, and they still they might need a healing now, but they're but I haven't used a stim pack on them yet. I doubt these guys are even gonna make them break a sweat. Yeah, we're gonna save this for a death claw. Save that crit. Oh, there you go. All these crits. What am I going to do with all these crits? Kiss my crits. Okay. There we go. Oh, whoops. But that was cool. Yay. Alright. We're getting stuff. We're liking stuff. Okay. I'm going to head this way first. Because going around this way, we got to go down and go around and go ugly. Okay. Anything? Yes. Oh, is it? Yep. It's rad scorpions. Are you guys radical? Radical scorpions. Today on Geraldo. We like wearing mohawks. Got everything pierced. Just kind of. They're intimidating to the older folks. That's why they're so radical. Come on now. Totally radical. Yeah, I know the BB may get a little annoying, but I'm saving those for Death Claws because we know. I mean, the name of the thing is Death Claw something. So we know that we're going to be running into some daggum Death Claws. Oh, it's not called Rad Scorpion. Nope. That's a different one. So we're just going to use these. We're not going to use these. We're going to hang on to them until he ran into some more death claws. Why? Because that's what I want to do. Why you ask so many questions? Why are you, are you, do you not think that I know what I'm doing? Or are you trying to figure out my motives? I mean, that's fine. My motives are fat loots. Yeah, see, everybody's thinking about gnar balls and unicorns today. I don't know why. Oh, and speaking of today, today, the, the date that this is recorded was the 13th. And today would have been my dad's, uh, let's see, 95th birthday, I think. Hold on, let's see. He was born in 1921, and it's 2016, so seven so no 93 so yeah he would have been he would have been 93 this year is his birthday um i've talked about my father in these in the past uh oh alpha death claw with with friends okay so see this is why we saved those uh, 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 uh. oh dang it i didn't uh didn't i uh, 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 oh, dang, come it. I'm off, I'm off a beat. What the heck? Mm, 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 mm. There, that time I got it. When it didn't freaking matter and it was a little lead dude. Oh, you need a heal. You need a heal stat. And not the awesome streamer stat, but just ASAP. And not the awesome YouTuber ASAP, which I don't even know if there is one, but I assume somewhere out there, there's a, there's a streamer or a YouTuber that is, goes by the handle ASAP. Okay, there's that, there's that. Oh, and there's that. So, okay, legendary in the same room. I mean, that's a little weak, giving me legendary uh, junk instead of legendary weapons or legendary outfits and that's the thing you don't see legendary outfits out here I mean very often if at all 
um, a lot of blue outfits out in this out in the wasteland but legendary outfits I've found them on dwellers that come out of lunch boxes the you know legendary dwellers they usually come with a legendary outfit or through crafting you, I just I don't think that I have ever not even like a suit of um, power armor that I've found that came from the wasteland. They've all either been made or they came on a person that that I got. So so that's something to, to keep in mind when you're like, hmm, is crafting really worth it? Well, that's why I have so much power armor right now is because I've crafted up a, a fair bit Probably three sets of power armor have been crafted. Ring, ring, boot. Oh, why did I do that? Yeah, you know, I was saving that. You made me waste my thing. My goodness. These jerks. Stupid jerk raiders. No wonder they don't. No wonder the vault dwellers don't like them. They're just jerks. Just old stupid jerky heads. Okay. I'm over it. I'm over it now. Sorry, guys. I got a little, got a little heated there for a moment. Stupid raiders making me use my crits when I didn't, shouldn't have had to. Oh, hey, you get one. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, <coughs> yes. But I don't know if it's just me or if that's harder than it looks or what, but, you know, I'm, a, I'm usually, you know, I was a bass player. I was part of a rhythm section, so I should have good, pretty dang good rhythm, but so I don't know what it is about that, about the click and see. There we go. That wasn't an alpha. Still got a legendary. Thank you, Bethesda. All right. How about you, suckers? Okay. Keep your fire hydrant clubs away from me. Keep them to yourselves. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see? Boom. Oh, yeah. Hit him again. Hit him one more time. For the people at home. Yeah. Hit them extra. So that they'll, they'll know better next time. It'd be funny, you know, they walk in. They're all max special, max level. They walk in, the raiders just say, no, we give up, here's all the stuff. I mean, it'd be a little less exciting, <laughs> but, but, but I think it'd be pretty awesome <laughs> from a from a realism standpoint, because you know, <laughs> it'd be like, you know, a bunch of Navy SEALs that you know are Navy SEALs come walking in someplace and they're like, uh, we want some food. You know, I'd be giving them some food, you know, that's all I'm saying. If you know that somebody doesn't like you, uh, 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 yes, and that somebody is probably coming to kill you, and they look and are super more you know, equipped to kill you than you are of killing them, then perhaps it might be okay to consider going ahead and surrendering whatever it is that they wanted. You know what I'm saying? And it's just one of the, oh, stupid. Still got 5x damage. I'm saving that one though. They can just blow deep at me. Yeah, blow deep. Get out of there. Silly Raiders. Although I do like the Raiders. Hey, look at you. Man, I don't know what it is about those circuit boards, but they sure want me to have some today. They sure do. Mm -hmm. Empty. Empty room. Hey, free room. I think that's one of the... That may be the first free room that we've encountered in this particular little nation about the Death Claws. Is that what this is? Kill the Alpha Death Claw. He's done it. Done already done. But we ain't done yet. There's still loot in here. I can smell it. There's a legendary in here. 
I can, I'm sniffing it right now. Oh, that sucks. My bad. Okay. Shoo. What? The bottom floor of the Deathclaw area, and once I got a whole bunch of rad roaches. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it'd be like it's very, you know, deadly to me. The bottom floor. <laughs> They're like, wait till you get to the basement and you see the rad roaches. <laughs> Unless one of my dudes has like a, a phobia that I don't know about. Of course, that's possible. When there, he's got rad roach phobia. I'd be, I'd be scary. He'd be frightened then, my little dudes. But Ann and Debbie and Roy, they're all doing just fine. They're being good fellers. Go over here. Not bad, not bad. That's right. We are not bad. We are good. And so, we're killing these guys. Once again, some more stupid raiders that we're not going to crit because we're saving it for the bigger stuff. Saving it for the big boys. Give me a death claw and I'll give you my crit. Oh, he tried to run away. Poor guy. He was just trying to run away. That's okay. He didn't deserve to run away. He had already made his choice. You've made your decisions. Now it's time to leave with him. And more rad roaches. So nuts. You'd think they'd be rad scorpions at least. Or, you know, mole rats. I mean, but rad roaches? I mean, that's like... You know, that's what you expect to find in the post-apocalyptic, uh, you know, roadside taco stand. It's not, not what you'd expect to find in a room full of death claws. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. See, at least this time they sent us some stupid uh, mole rats. And I think we're coming up on the last room of this one. Hey! At least they were mole rats with good taste. Because that quantum, that's good stuff. Nuka-Cola quantum. It's refreshing. And it tastes like... Food. What? I don't know. I couldn't come up with anything clever right there on the fly, as you probably noticed. You didn't pack any cram? Did you? Salty, delicious cram. No, no cram for you, buddy. Alright. Well, that's it. And that was a maze. That was amazing. <laughs> no, anyway. Uh, so that's that one. We killed all them death claws. What did we get out of that lovely endeavor? Military circuit boards out the wazoo, a gold watch, and a legendary weapon recipe. Well, you know, and two new coal quantum, so we're not going to complain. Also, 11,000 caps, so that's pretty nice. So now it's on to the last one. Now, the last one, I'm not sure. I don't remember what this one is. This might be old Racky Jobinson. It might be uh, one of those other quests that we have running. But I don't remember. So we're going to flip, flip back through our dudes here. Hello, dude flipping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last inning, or not. Yeah, it's Racky Jobinson. And this one was a longer one, so we sent uh, oh trench out with them. And so let's get on to it. Let's get on with it. Let's get on to it, too. Bad, bad quest. You be better. I don't know what to expect as far as rewards from this one that said, but I can't remember what it was. You know how it is. They show you little pictures of things, and it might be a, wet, a blue weapon, or it might be a yellow weapon, or... It might be some other weapon or some other thing, but I didn't really pay close enough attention to know, so it's going to be a surprise for everybody. Woohoo! 
All right, there's a boss. Looks like whatever it is, it may not be as um, it may not be as tough as as they would wish. They're gonna wish that they were tougher for sure, because we're about to plow them. Like Sunday morning. Well, that gun it. Let me click on the boss, dude. Oh. Ooh. Wish I'd read the first part of that. Darn it, the jersey's not here. The search continues. Dad gummit, how do you know already? How do you know? You some kind of psychic Lucas Sims? You related to Miss Cleo? I don't know. I'm asking. Blow him up. Shoot him in the face. Let me send me two raiders. Not two raiders, just two. T W O. Two raiders. How insulting. Do they even know who I am? Does anybody even know who I am? Do I even know who I am? Hello? According to the channel, I'm Brad Pointer. So well, that's who I am. Because my channel never lies, unless it intentionally lies. There we go. Yes. Hey. The Overseer is going to love this. Meh. Meh. It's okay. I mean, it's going to help in our crusade to become the premier weapons and armor manufacturer of the wasteland. But, you know, there's a box of stale sugar bombs, but no jersey. Well, okay. At least it's not, it's no jersey and not New Jersey. Because we're looking for an old jersey. I mean, what did you think I was going to bust on an entire state that I've never even been to? Pshaw. Pshaw. I am way cooler than that. Definitely this way. Yeah. Come on, psychic. My buddy. Lucas Sims, the psychic. Miss Cleo's grand, great grandson. We'll have to keep looking. Boy, all these free rooms. Some of them don't have nothing in them, but. You know, or don't have anything in them. Stop using double negatives, Brad. You're supposed to be an author. Yes, I am. And speaking of. Book three is still. not happening yet. Someday. Someday, I'm going to have time to do all the things that I want to do. But I barely have time to sit here and for half an hour and record these episodes. So, you know, when am I supposed to write? Sometime, when you get a chance. Oh, hey, what was that? Did you hear a growl? Was that in my house? Are there monsters in my house, fellas? You would tell me, wouldn't you? It'll be fun, they said. Yeah, fun. This is fun. What are you talking about, sucker? Yeah, I know. I killed you yesterday. Like, straight up. I understand. You can be upset with me. That's totally fine. I sent you on a daily quest. Without anything to... to to heal yourselves with. Sorry, Scrubs, but our big bad boss ain't here. Oh. Oh. He decided to test his metal at the old office building. Well. Okay. There's a death claw there, and Coach needed some batting practice. Well. I guess we're about to run into... Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. Batting practice against a death claw. So Coach's evil... And a complete idiot. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, here we go. I swear if that death claw rips Jobinson's jersey, I'm gonna be so mad. 
That's the least of your worries, Meat Sack. Hey, watch your language. <sighs> These people. Calling names. That's no way to live your life. I'm sure shoot people with a plasma thrower. But don't call them names while you do it. I mean, that's just not... That's not cool. You know, what are you trying to break? Oh! Oh my goodness. Abraham. Get up, Abe. Get up, Abraham. Get up. My lord. She whacked Abraham. That wasn't cool. Can I click your foot? There, okay. Abraham? Abraham? Kitty? Kitty, you st stay here with Abraham. We're gonna go on. Don't worry, we'll find help. Oh, hey. Always like a good plasma rifle. Like a plasma thrower better, but you know. Hey, whatever. I'll take whatever we can get. But man, did you? I I must not have been paying attention, guys. I'm sorry. That was that was my fault. I'm gonna accept full responsibility, even though I don't know what happened. I don't know if that boss just hit like a truck, or if I just wasn't paying attention to how low his health bar was. But in either case, the result is the same: a dead dweller. Now, luckily, we're not playing on, you know, what is it, survival mode or whatever the hard thing, it, hard difficulty is. I tried that when they first brought it out for PC. Man, it was like, you know, yeah, you, everybody starts off at level 5. Everybody starts off a little better with guns and stuff. But, man, there's like twice as many events, like... You know, happening in your vault just get seems like your vault is under, under constant attack. Um, if you want to see somebody who did a um, pretty good job of, of dealing with it, uh, go watch Generic B's um, Let's Play series on Fallout Shelter, the, uh, the second season, or I don't know if you call it a second season or whatever, but um, after the PC update where he started a, a hardcore whatever started a, a big one a difficulty a difficult challenge and he did really well but uh yeah I, whew, I was like nope i tried it for a while and i was like man this is just way too much there's way too much to get past and when your guys die they die like they're just gone and so not only I, that would be bad enough, you know, hardcore mode where it's the same everything else, but your dudes are dead when they die. That'd be hard enough. I, I would probably play that too, but man, oh man, to have all that and everybody be dead. Nope, it was just it was too much. It was like nope. Sorry, I'm all for you know hard difficulty games. Really like. You know, if you guys saw my Met Commander Gold playthrough, you know, hard mode, hard mode is, is a good thing. But that, that's ridiculous mode. And there's only like this mode and then, you know, I have a Death Wish mode. I mean, that's pretty much, pretty much it. <laughs> I don't want to ever grow my vault mode. I just don't know how you do it. Especially if you didn't spend any money. I mean, I haven't spent any money on this game. Uh, not bragging or anything like like that, but just haven't felt the need and haven't. I don't. I haven't bought a game in a long time because I'm poor. Now that we've got that out of the way, um, like, comment, and subscribe if you're poor too. Hey, woohoo! Um, <laughs> but anyway, so let's let's finish this up we'll get get our friend all resurrected we got a bunch of uh, mats again so this one this today was mainly 
Um, acquire junk. Not even like weapon junk, but just junk junk. Are you gonna come back? Baby, come back. Aby, Aby, come back. Abraham. Oh, and now he's sad. And he's old. He's old and sad. Oh, you look terrible, dude. We may need to give him a break. And we just put him back into rotation. We're already thinking we may have to give him a break. Goodness. Well, anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. That's going to do it for me today. Uh, if you like this episode, then like it. And I will catch you on the spatula side. Peace.